Yuta Akatsu has the most potential out of any shaman in Jujutsu Kaisen. While being only a second year at Jujutsu High, Yuta had obtained the sorcerer level of special grade. And while being a special grade shaman, you are most notably the highest ranking for a shaman possible. But how did Yuta become so strong in the first place? To understand this, we have to look at Yuta's roots as a shaman. With that being said, Yuta's story takes place in the prequel to Jujutsu Kaisen, known as Tokyo Metropolitan Magical Technical School or Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. In Yuta's past, we learn about Yuta's engagement and the overall origin of his power. This same power had allowed Yuta to defeat the entire class of Kyoto shamans all by himself. Last year, Yuta joined to match numbers. It was before Rika was dispelled, right? Seems it was a complete victory. And this victory was possible due to the love shared between Rika and Yuta. When Rika had passed away, she had turned into a cursed spirit, and this happened because she died with regret. The negative energy associated with Rika's death had no longer allowed her to rest in peace. And this is what allows Yuta to be so strong in the first place. The regret of not seeing the engagement between him and Rika through to the end fills Yuta with an endless pool of cursed energy. Yuta Kotsu, huh? I don't really get what everyone sees in him. His ability to unconditionally copy cursed techniques and his boundless cursed energy. By being able to copy abilities unconditionally, this allows Yuta to be one of the most versatile fighters in the series. The ability itself is already broken as it is, but to be able to copy abilities wherever and whenever you want provides the user with unlimited potential to win within any encounter. This will all be due to Yuta's wide array of abilities from collecting techniques. From not only his allies, but the people he faces in battle as well. If Yuta is facing off against a tough opponent, not only will he be able to counter their ability with one of the many abilities that he has collected, but he will be able to use their own ability against them by copying it unconditionally. This allows the potential for Yuta to win a fight to play heavily into his favor. However, Yuta's cursed energy is boundless, meaning that he has an unlimited amount of cursed energy, which makes Yuta unstoppable. By not only copying abilities without restrictions, and having an unlimited pool of cursed energy, Yuta can copy as many abilities as he wants, and use as many abilities as he wants, in a quick succession. And even then, we are not taking into account that Yuta will surpass nearly every opponent because of his cursed energy. In a simple fight of endurance, Yuta dominates his opponents because he does not run out of energy. For instance, if an opponent puts all of their cursed energy into an attack, they will no longer have any more cursed energy to attack. But what Yuta could do in this situation is copy that same attack that the opponent put all of their energy into and then use it against them. But rather than tiring out from using all of his cursed energy like his opponent, Yuta will be able to do an extremely powerful technique without tiring out. And he could do this same technique unlimitedly, all without having to learn the technique. Healing, Healing and cursed, cursed words, words are both high-level high high jujutsu. jujutsu. To, to think, think a boy who only started, started learning jujutsu, jujutsu less, than less than half a year, a year ago, ago could, could use them. them. Yudo literally has an infinite amount of possibilities to win against any opponent. This makes Yuta easily one of the strongest characters in Jujutsu Kaisen. Yuta is literally broken. It's pretty easy to see why Yuta can rival Satoru. 
They're all excellent students, especially the third year Hikari and second year Akotsu. They'll become shamans who can rival me 